to another episode of The Biggest Transformation. We have some fun coming up for you today. Last week on the show, we talked about the gray zone and how avoiding the gray zone can, um, you know, keep you losing. And we found out that some of the cast members had been operating in the gray zone because they had had a stall to their weight loss. And when you do the right activity, it brings the right results. And when you're not doing the right activity, it certainly brings the wrong results. So we're going to see if those, if they could get it back on track. We're going to see if Krista Joy could continue to hold down the lead as we embark on this next episode of The Biggest Transformation. Make sure to stay tuned. We have some red and blue shenanigans. We have some red and blue competitions. And you are going to laugh your fanny off. So let's go ahead and jump on with the cast, get the weigh-ins done, and uh, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Okay, Steve. Regaining the first place spot, retaking it back in first place with 31.4 pounds lost, 13.4% Dana. He's like, get back, Krista Joy. <laughs> in second place with 53.8 pounds lost, 12.88%. Bryce. Nice. Second nice. place. Let go, Bryce. Yes. In third place with 30.7 pounds, 12.4%. Krista Joy. Woo! Krista, Krista Joy. Joy. Woo In fourth place with 29.4 pounds, 11.71%. Steve. Woo! Yes. Let's go, Steve. Right behind him, nipping at his heels. <laughs> Can smell is sweat is uh Stuart <laughs> with 35.7 pounds lost 11.4 percent Stuart moving up a couple percentage points good job Ooh, wow awesome in, go. in sixth place with 14.7 pounds lost 8.47 percent Lori yay Lori yeah, Lori way to go Lori yay yeah. me <laughs> Thank you. Hey, sometimes you gotta pat your own self on the back. <laughs> In seventh place with 16.6 pounds lost, 7.32% is Trisha. Woo -woo. Yay. 
<laughs> Coming on up. In eighth place, with 14 pounds lost, 7.17%, Wendy. Go, Wendy. In ninth place, with 18 pounds lost, 6.63%, Cher. Ninth go. place. Yay. Good job. And a girl. Good job. In 10th, 10th place with 24.4 pounds loss, 6.5% Nakia. Woohoo. Oh, good job. In 11th place with 11.2 pounds, 5.4% Tammy. Go Tammy. Yay. And in 12th Tammy. place with 7.5 pounds, 4.5% Abby. Yay. Way to go. You guys lost mm -hmm. 23.9 pounds for a grand total of 266.7 in total. Whoa. So, all know. right, so here's here's the deal. Um, I know y'all, I mean, y'all have seen some, listen, I feel like I gotta give you a disclaimer. Uh, some of you guys, we've worked together before. Some of you guys, this is our first time working together. And my job, as your coach inside of the biggest transformation is to what one, one, one thing is my job. And that is to help you cross the finish line and reach your health goals. And inside of the biggest transformation, this is a, listen, last week's over. Let's, let's start here. Last week, season two talked about the gray zone and the gray zone is the big fat, it's the places we go that were not outlined when we first started. There was several things when we first started that was, there was a plan that was outlined that said, hey, you wanna lose 161 pounds in 13 months? Here's how I did it. You wanna lose 150 pounds in eight months? Here's how Shane did it. You wanna lose hundred pounds in six months? Here's how Matthew did it. You wanna lose, you know, there was a plan laid out to, hey, Here's step one, step two, step three, step four, follow the recipe. If you are not following the recipe, uh -huh. then you are operating in an experiment, okay? And I can't guarantee an experiment. And an experiment is you taking where you're at and inserting what you want to do, what you think you should do, what you feel like doing, what you, you know, all those things. And I would love to tell you, that you could do the things you wanted to do and leave out the things you didn't want to do and get crazy results. I would love to tell you that you could modify the instructions and get crazy results and have long-term results. I would love to tell you that you're going to reach all your goals and live in the land of milk and honey doing it your way. But here's the truth. And this was the truth that I had to come to. The hardest part about working with adults is getting them to follow instructions, to not insert the I want us, well, I think I am. And at the end of the day, our results always tell us how well we're following directions. Mm -hmm. The truth is, if we're not getting results, it's because there's a user error. And you have access to me and your mentor so we can figure that out. Stop just saying, oh, the scale just must not like me. Oh, it must be the week. Oh, it must be that. Oh, it must be this. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you. And it's miscalculations. And it's operating in the gray zone. And we're, so today... Before we get into the fun, we're going to go ahead and get the Jekyll out of the way. <laughs> My job is not to make you like me and I'm not here for you to love me. I'm here for you to get results. And when you don't get results, it pisses me off because I know that you didn't sign up for this to stay the same. And I know that you didn't come here to leave here freaking still being a failure at weight loss. You didn't come here to look in the mirror and still feel bad about yourself. You didn't come here to not get rid of the freaking belly fat. You came here to get results. That is why you signed up for this crazy program. And when you, as long as you're in this program, you're going to do it my way. Not your way, not half-ass way, not kind of the way, the whole way. No gray zoning it. No half in, half out. No, I feel <laughs> like it. No, I, I kind of hit all my water. No, it's not kind of. I did or I didn't. There's no kind of when it comes to results. It's I did or I didn't. It's I did or I didn't. There's not a maybe. There's not a kind of. There's not a didn't have time. Let's not even compare calendars and schedules sure. with each other because mm -hmm. we're all freaking busy. We're all busy. Mm -hmm. We don't get to use the busy card as an excuse to not get our results. We don't get to use it because we're all busy. 
All of us have life going on, adulting going on. All of us have our hands in a lot of different projects, a lot of different things. <clears throat> but you know what? Part of the reason why we get to fluffy, part of the reason why we get to unhealthy is because we use the busy card as a freaking excuse to stay stuck. We use the I'm exhausted card as an excuse to stay stuck. We use the I don't have time card because I'm doing everything for anybody else. No, 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 no. For these 12, 24 weeks, you committed to making yourself a priority, to making time when there didn't seem to be no time. And I do want you to know that this totally comes from a place of love, but I'm still going to continue kicking your butt for a little bit longer before we have fun. So let's talk about, let's talk about this. I don't, listen, you want to, when, when it comes to stuff like this, and if we go through some of these, some of y'all are going to be getting hit on a lot of these that you're operating in the gray zone. Understand that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Because the more of this, if, if we go through this entire 24 weeks and you don't really develop good habits and you don't really make some changes, then at the end of these 24 weeks, guess what's going to happen? You're going to go right back to where you came from. Mm -hmm. And none of you came this far to only come this far. So it's not about in the time. And again, before every testimony comes a test. So we all say we want good health. We all say we want to look great in those goal outfits. We all can say, we all can talk the talk. That's the truth. Anybody can talk the talk. It's very few human beings that are willing. Notice I didn't say that can, that are willing to walk the walk. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Are we willing to walk the walk? Are we willing to do the hard thing to get the thing that we say that we really want? Well, Carmen. Hi. I got to tell you, because you know, of course, I deal with my mentors. So I want to take full responsibility to let you know that I have not been totally all the way committed. I've been half assing. And I do want to apologize to you and I want to apologize to my teammate. And I have reset. I'm back cooking for myself. And um the 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 team, the beach body does work with T Sean. So I made a commitment to work out twice a day when I have to work out with the other fitness people to get that whole thing in with T Sean because it does make a difference in my life. And I do apologize. And I want to let you know I apologize and I will do what's right. Anything else? I just know meal planning with somebody else does not work because they're not put in everything that I want. So I went back to cooking. And when I look at it, I noticed that I lost the most weight when I knew exactly what I was doing. And so I'm very happy that I'm learning through this process. And so I know exactly what needs to be done. And um, so I, I, I know where my faults is and I have identified that and I will make that change. I mean, it is done. I already made a change. And I already know exactly what I'm going to do. So um, we're learning through this process. And I and I have learned my body too, right? So the biggest thing is um, when I was cooking for myself, mm -hmm. I had more energy. I felt better. Then when I started cooking, having that person cook for me, I can tell the difference. And then even my husband was like, I don't want that. So because he said, yeah, so made a huge difference. He wants me cooking. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, 100%. And listen, it is a journey. And I don't expect perfection out of anybody because none of us are perfect. And I've been transparent enough with you guys to let you know that my 13 months of losing 161 pounds wasn't about perfection. But it was about what it was about is consistently correcting. That's what any journey to success is. You get on the road, but it's like the airplane pilot. When the airplane pilot is piloting the jet, he doesn't just set it and forget it and think because he's a pilot in the cockpit that he's going to, that's such a strange word, by the way, who came up with the word cockpit? <laughs> Focus Carmen. Okay. Anyway, he doesn't just set the thing and expect to get there. No, he's constantly checking the coordinates and he's constantly auto-correcting. He's constantly looking at where 
Because along this journey, from where you're at, from where you're at to where you want to go, if here's a straight line, if you get off track just a little bit and you don't correct it to come right back down and get back on track, and then you get off a little bit, can you guys see how little that is? That's a tiny little bit. But if we extrapolate that out long term, look at how far you miss your goal by. You don't even come close to where you set out to be just by getting off a little bit and not auto correcting. It's not about getting off track. It's about getting back on track. That's a bigger deal. And so anyway, that wasn't so bad, was it? Jekyll, she wasn't so bad. No, it was awesome. <laughs> Some of you just love punishment. <laughs> anyway. Um, Okay, so now, uh, so I really loved our, our first challenge this week. Is this the burpee challenge? Yes, it is. Are you joining us to do some burpees for us? I am. How many do you want me to do? Um, I need at least, we need at least 10. Four. Look at her go. Hey, I'm impressed. Hi, Carrie. Hey. Hi. So how does this work? So we are um, collecting people doing burpees. Okay. <laughs> so if you're willing to do burpees for us, then um, I'm recording on here. So, you know, you can just set up your camera so we can see you and just need you to do 10. And they can be full, full on burpees or they can be modified, whatever you're comfortable with doing. Okay, let's see if I can get this set up right. Okay. Uh, can you see enough of me? Let's see. Good? <laughs> yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Two. Ready. Go. One. Keep going, Mallory. Let's go. Well, you can jump up. Go ahead. <laughs> Yay. Okay, we got one. Awesome. Two. Three. burpees and we're gonna do a little bit of a slower style because we're both a little 
frail and have some injuries. Okay. We got ten. Ready? Yeah. Going down first. Okay. I'm gonna go super slow. Back in. And up. One. Uh, Let's do it. Yeah. Sure. Two. Arms up, two. Okay, listen here. I just got off of my boot camp tonight. We had an amazing time. Now I'm going to do my burpees with my clothes on. Carmen, do it. Yeah, y'all always be talking that mess. Let me see how many you can do. You ready? Here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> One, two. Three, come on now. Come on. <laughs> Four, come on. One more. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm I mean, blue team, remind me who won that first challenge. I don't think I remember. <laughs> and the red team in the process of winning, I do want to give you guys a shout out to that first challenge. You guys raised uh, like seven or $900 for two different orphanages in the process of doing that. And so amazing job. You guys won and raised money for two great causes. And I think that's amazing. So, but today, Today, the blue team has a chance to, you know, come back. All right, so let's go ahead for today. So first and foremost, you guys were all assigned to bring something. So where are my, let me see here. What should we start with? What should we start with? Well, uh, uh, Nakia, what should we start with? You pick, which, which one should we start with? Water. Oh, the water. You were going to say that. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so we're going to start with the water. Stuart, what are we going to do next after the water? Workout okay. number one. Number one workout. Okay. The first one who takes their cup and holds it upside down and says, done. Jeez. Okay. On your mark. Get set. Go. Go, Trisha. Go, Trisha! Chuck it, girl, chuck it! Go, oh, Cher! Come on, Cher! <laughs> All right, red team won the first challenge. Red team Trisha. won the first challenge. Good job, Cher. That was close. That was very close. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy man. I should do that all the time. Tammy Watson. Tammy and who? Steve for blue. Steve. Oh, look at Steve, he's all up already. Hold on, let me get, let me, all right, Steve. All right, workout number one, let me get my timer up. It's gonna be how many burpees can you do in 60 seconds? Oh, God. Get set, go. Let's go, Steve. Seven. 20 seconds down. Eight. Eight. Let's go, Tammy. Oh, Seven. Seven. Come on, Steve. 17. 18. 18. 19. 19. 20. 20. 21. 21. My husband. Ask Henry how many she did. I trust Henry. I don't trust Tammy. I have a mixture of broccoli, spinach, and romaine lettuce. Okay. And cucumbers. Okay. 
So it's gonna be whoever can eat all their vegetables and have a clean blah, mouth the first, the fastest, the first. Oh my gosh. On your mark, get set, go! Nikia, get it girl. Come on, Krista, there's no time for smiling. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, on your mark, get set, go. Go, 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 come on. Go. Get that. Dana's done, Dana's done. Oh, oh. so close. Oh. Dana was... like a boss. I'll, I'll take the loss on that one. I think she had me by a split second. I mean, I told you I was already on top and I'm gonna stay there now. Yeah. <laughs> I can do the most push-ups in 60 seconds. Oh. oh, can I do girl push-ups? I suck at these. No, we nope. gotta keep them the same. Yeah, Stuart, you're gonna have to adjust your camera down because we won't see you when you get on the ground. You either both gotta do girl or you both gotta do dude. You both we gotta pick. We can do modified. Okay. Oh, so, Stuart. So, all right, it. so, yep, I was gonna say, it's gotta be the Such same. Such a gentleman, yeah, Stuart, good job. So, 12, 13. Stop, stop, stop. Good job. 44 push-ups for Stuart. I counted 44 push-ups for Stuart. And Abby was 46. Oh. So Abby, you're on the red? Yes. Stuart, so it was 44 for Stuart and 46 for Abby? Yes. Oh, good job, you guys. Get it, girl. Hi, right, Wendy. Let's okay. do this thing. And so when you, um, you're, you're gonna go up into plank, hold it as long as you can. And uh, the person who drops first, the other person wins. So on your mark, get set, plank, go. Strong, you strong. Breathe through it, Laura, you got it. Breathe through it, breathe through it. You got it, you got it. Oh, 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 you won. What did you want? You did it for the you won, girl. Stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, awesome. Good job. Good job. That was awesome. Good job, Lori and Wendy. Good job, everybody. You guys are awesome. I have a crazy amount of energy right now. I'm just saying. <laughs> you guys are getting so yeah. strong, and you're going to continue to get strong as we go through this. And so this week, here's what I'll say about the red and blue. Competition, if we allow it to, will pull the best out in us. Mm -hmm. It'll it'll help us rise to the occasion. It injects fun into it. And no matter what your personality is, on a football team, on a baseball team, there's all different personalities. But they're all competing for the same thing, right? And so um, I'm excited to have another week at a Red and Blue competition. I'm excited to, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to add a different perspective, a different thing to the competition, um, just to help re-energize, to rejuvenate. And this week, as we're coming into this week, I want you guys to go back through, what are my non-negotiables? What are the activities that I'm doing every day and every week that are gonna get me away from where I was and that are gonna get me to where I wanna go? What are the areas where I've been walking in the gray zone? What are areas I've been flirting with the gray zone? What are areas that I haven't been holding up my end of the bargain? Because we each came into this agreement with an end of the bargain. I'm going to do this. This is what you're going to do. So what are some areas you're breaking your contract? What are some areas where you're like, yeah, I haven't been doing that or that or that. And making sure this week to make a plan to start doing them. Again, the more you follow this, the better your results are going to be. So today we're rounding out, is this, we're rounding out week eight. We're coming into week nine. Already? Yeah. Yep. Just which three weeks. Crazy, left. which means um, we have, we have just a couple weeks left in the competition phase of this. And so really it's turning the focus to however you started is how you started. Whatever you've done up until this point is what you've done. And it's not always how we start, but it's also how we finish. And we get to choose whether we're going to limp across the finish line, whether we're going to gimp across the finish line, or whether we are going to take that car and we're going to press on the, the extra NOS or whatever they call it, the go fast juice. 
we're gonna kick it into high gear and we're gonna finish this race strong. So that is a wrap this week on The Biggest Transformation. Hopefully you had some fun. Hopefully you had some laughs. All together, 261.7 pounds. They're nearing the 300 pound mark lost by these 12 people over the past eight weeks. So freaking incredible. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. Next week, the red and blue shenanigans are going to continue as well as the cast is going to, you know, there's always a couple moments during the season that really is, um, makes such a huge difference in their lives, in this crazy journey they're on. And next week is going to be one of those times, one of those episodes that you're not going to want to miss. So make sure to mark your calendar. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, leave us a comment down below, and we will see you next week on another episode of The Biggest Transformation.